Welcome back. Today I'm taking you along on another day of what I shared on Instagram stories and that's because so many of you are sharing with me how much you love it. So for right now, I'm going to keep them coming periodically throughout the month and we'll revisit in another month or two. And I'll let you be the judge if you feel that this is serving my community well. I think it will. I think it will. So what's on the radar today? Well, I know that I'm sharing a little bit of exercise. So you'll actually see me in my home gym, not a pretty sight, getting the job done. I also have a little bit of fashion and then chit chat. There's always good chit chat, maybe a devotional. I don't know. I, I, it's hard for me to remember when I film the intro and exit. But anyway, let's take a peek at what I shared recently on Instagram stories. I decided to to do a little bit of an intermittent fast today. I don't know what I'm on. Maybe maybe about 18 hours, but I'm juice cleansing today. So, um I don't know <laughs> I don't know why I'm having this one first. I typically have a green one first, but it's okay to mix it up. This one was the most thawed juice out of the bunch. So starting with this one, uh, many of the three-week intense members are taking advantage of juice cleansing. I think I'm going to do another day this coming week. I'll keep you posted, but if you are looking to incorporate some juice cleansing into your diet to shake, rattle, and roll, mix things up a little bit from the high protein, um, which I have great uh, results from, doing that, you can tap the link and get your shipment ordered today. A couple of weeks ago, I shared that I had been eyeing this faux leather looking puffer jacket on a particular site. And I wasn't willing to spend <laughs> the full price for it. So I put a link in my task list and I checked every single day to see if it would go on sale. And actually, to be honest with you, I remember tapping that link on Good Friday. So I watched this baby for the longest time. And then it finally, finally went on sale. And I bought it a couple of weeks ago. I've had it for probably at least maybe two weeks. I talked about it and shared it before. I think a few of you ended up buying it, but um, it is really awesome. So I wanted to share it with you. I'm just, we have snowy weather, so it is my uh, look for the afternoon. And I love sometimes wearing gloves where my fingers are free because I'm on my phone, but I wanted to share. Good Sunday morning. Uh, I, I'm just, clearing out my task list for today and I did something in my task list that I changed and I thought it I thought it was worth sharing with you I've shared before that my task list has a lot of just telling Tracy things she may not remember <laughs> Which is why my ta my task list is so long. <laughs> bless me. <laughs> Just bless me. Thank you, Lord, for all the blessings. <laughs> I need them. Um, recently, <laughs> down to this little thing I'm going to share with you. <laughs> Brace yourself. <laughs> we have plenty of umbrellas. Paul has some long, really big umbrellas that are golf umbrellas, and boy, are those handy. But they're big, they're not easy to lug around. And then we have a bunch of just inexpensive black umbrellas that you get on Amazon, stored in, in our cars, um, stored in the mud hall closet. But I bought a couple a little bit nicer compact umbrellas that are actually like in a zip case so you just know how when you fold up an umbrella it's just 
to put it back in the pot. You know what I mean? It's just to slide it back in the little pouch. It just doesn't take place. I mean, in our home, it just isn't happening. So I bought a black one and more of an off-white one because I wear so much off-white or winter white. And because those are more for when maybe I'm dressed up, I store them in my walk-in closet, which in, on t in Tuesday's video, you will see where I store them because I'm doing my closet organization tour. You can actually see quite a bit of my closet organization tour in last Sunday's Instagram highlight. So I'll leave that footage in there until tomorrow so that you can get a last chance to look at it if you'd like, just to kind of get a little teaser before Tuesday's YouTube video. Well, I won't remember <laughs> the new place that I stored them. So when I bought them and stored them in my walk-in closet in one of the little drawer units, I put in my task list where they were being stored and I set that to daily. And it's been a couple of weeks and it popped up, of course, because my task list is there daily. And today when it popped up, I thought, it's starting to settle, like it's starting to register here because anything we do on repeat, we get better at. Anything that we tell ourselves on repeat, we start to remember, right? That's why the daily document that I have, that I do daily during my workouts is so important because it starts to stick. So today, I moved that, I changed the setting in my task list, task list, I feel like my phone is not very, it's, it's, a, it's probably dirty, um, I set it to two times per week to remind me, and I know this seems so insignificant, like an umbrella, but I do this for other things, um, where I store our white tablecloth linens for when we entertain because they've been dry cleaned so they're on hangers. I may not remember, so they're not in, they're not stored in our, and I'm looking at it, our entertainment cabinet. We have like an, we have an armoire that used to be in our home office that I now use as a storage unit for entertaining supplies. Now, I know my entertaining supplies are in there, so I don't task that because I, I know they're in there. But if something's not in there because I store it somewhere else, I just won't remember that. And then I will spend all this wasted time searching for something. It's That is so frustrating. I, have you ever just misplaced something and you're like, you will spend <laughs> so many pockets of your day or week looking for that. That to me is insignificant. That is not making good use of your time. I try to avoid that. And you have stress, right? It's so stressful when you cannot find something and you're like, where is this? And so because, and I have a whole YouTube video on this topic, I am a stress avoider when it's in my control. I can't control the stress of the outside world or what just shows up and I expect it daily. I do not, to, I do not ever expect to go through a whole day and not have something initially stress me because I have no control over 
everyone else in the world and things that just happen. A tr again, I always say a tree could fall on your, our house and bust through a window and we have a damaged roof. I mean, you can't prevent that from happening. But what I can manage myself and what I can control and set up systems to avoid being stressed, I am going to do. It's worth it. There's a huge... R-O-T-I, return on time invested to do so. So I'm just today using a little umbrella as an example, but I do this with everything. And again, once it starts to stick, I can move it from daily, and some things don't need to be daily, but an umbrella could be used in any time, right? So that needed to be daily, and now, I set it to two times per week until it registers. Now, an example of something that I don't need, that I didn't initially need to set to go off daily would be, for example, our white tablecloth linens that we only use for entertaining. That is set right now, I think, weekly. And then I have plenty of baby be kind of baby supplies for the grandkids, um, things that we have in our home that don't always get used. So let's just say you have a baby, but eventually the baby becomes a toddler. So you put away certain components that you used as a baby, but you may use them again for a future child that you have. So for example, we have a pack and play set up in our bedroom pretty permanently. It probably will be there for many years. But we have the pack and play that has an insert so it can be higher for when the baby is really small. That is no longer in there. Mac, Mac is eight months now. So Marin is three months and Mac as of yesterday is eight months. So he's now in the full pack and play like the insert is out because he's standing at eight months i mean he's going to be an early walker he pulls up and stands around furniture he has for like a month so we're expecting we're expecting an early walker out of him so the insert is stored away i literally it could be in the basement it could be here it could be there i don't want to spend any of my time when let's say we need that pack and play for Marin and we maybe want it higher, I don't I just I don't want to have to be searching for things. So when we're done using something, I am the type that I st I wrap it up really nice. I don't want it to get dusty and dirty. So I wrap it up really nice and then I store it someplace. But I know Tracy very well, 53 years of this girl. <laughs> She's, she's smart as a whip in some areas, but I know where she is not smart as a whip. I've, I have a lot of experience under my belt. I'm just not gonna remember. So something like that is tasked, and I believe that may go off, week, that shows up weekly. Um, we have our crib, so then the up, upstairs guest bedroom has an actual crib. We ended up buying a really nice crib and when I bought the crib, there was an option to add the toddler bed package. And I really debated. I just, I, I hate that. <laughs> I hate when you have to think, yeah. It's kind of like um, buying the warranty on something. You're always like, yeah. which rarely do I ever buy a warranty on something. But if it's something big, like an appliance, you know, you just teeter with that. I ended up deciding to buy it um, because what if I can't buy it later on, which would probably be the case. Um, I, I bought the crib from Wayfair, but if anyone wants a link to something like that, I don't, it's probably out there somewhere, but just email. Email us and let us know and someone will get something out to you. But please only email if you're really serious because it does take time. Um, we had an email yesterday where someone was looking for all of my cordless little lamps that I can plug in and charge and they're cordless. And 
we took quite a bit of time you know getting those links so please please use them it's a way to give back and it doesn't go unnoticed I really do appreciate it um, I don't want to be that person that pushes that but I want to make sure I'm a good communicator because sometimes people just don't know that's how we get paid so the whole entire toddler um, attachments I, I just will not remember where I store them people's I just won't um, and if you're the type that just I've got that down I think that's fantastic if you don't hopefully you have a system I used to have a I used to have it in my notes app on my phone I had a note titled where I put it <laughs> that, that was literally the title where I put it <laughs> and then every time <laughs> I couldn't find something I just went to my notes app on my phone and I would look through that list and sure enough it would be there where I put it and that, that saved me so many times but now I just have it in my task list and it pops up the toddler crib attachments shows up one time per month and I'll share with you I'm so used to seeing that because we've had the toddler or I'm sorry, the crib for over a year. I believe I bought it in the fall of 2022. So we're over a year of me seeing that pop up. You know, it is sticking. You know, I do know where it's at now, but I would, I don't risk just knowing me. Again, I just know me. <laughs> um, you know, we have to believe people when they show us who they are even ourselves so I believe me I believe Tracy for showing Tracy who she is and I don't judge her for it I don't see that she's incompetent she's not a valuable person she's a loser it's just not an area that I'm well oiled is is memory <laughs> for things like that and I believe it's more because I have so much so much on my plate I have so much on my plate so I don't want to be bogged down. I don't want thinking fatigue. I don't want um, decision fatigue. I don't want that type of fatigue. And that's kind of what it is for me is it's, it's like a form of fatigue. So yes, it's kind of stuck where the attachments are, but I, I still have it pop up. I have sheets, additional crib sheets, additional pack and play sheets for changing out. And I have that pop up as well, like once per month, um, where I store the additional sheets for the, for the beds. So I hope what I'm sharing today, I know it got long winded, but I know you guys enjoy stories. Um, I hope if, if this is an area that you're looking for a better system, I, I helped you. I was getting caught up on the three week intense community page. We are on day 14. We end on the 21st of January for quarter one. Um, 18 hours ago, Kathy, one of the members, shares, just wanted to put it out there that I have so enjoyed the guidance and support of joining three WI, three week intense. I'm so glad I joined and feel like I am armed with so much knowledge moving forward. As a first timer, in former Weight Watchers employee, I just feel like this has been so much more inspiring to me. I still put in place my Weight Watchers knowledge on the good old food pyramid. So the eating part has been fairly easy to follow, but the all but the all of but all of the exercise and fitness tips have been fantastic. I never exercised before along with dieting. I used to believe that you dieted first, then put in place your exercise. What was I thinking? <laughs> that wasn't Weight Watchers though. I love the tracking and making myself accountable. 
Thank you, everyone. Two more days to week three. Kathy, thank you for sharing. She's been a wonderful contributor to the Three Week Intense community, as many of the other ladies have been. This group, we always have a variety of ages. Um, I don't know the ages of everyone doing Three Week Intense because we have a really big crowd this time. There's over, there's over 100 members, maybe, Maybe I, maybe, I think it's over 125, but I don't think it's quite 130. So it's a big group. <laughs> and several women are in their 60s. I don't believe in this round I have anyone in their 70s, but I have. And I don't know if I have any members in their 20s. I have members in their 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, and I would say that's typically what I see. So just always remember where you are today. Age, stage, season. If if you're if you're burning a lot of candles like I am, three week intense will meet you. If you're in the season of life where maybe the hubby is still working and you're not working, meaning employed. I don't ever want to say we're not working. We're all working. <laughs> we're all working in some way or another. I mean, you're not employed. You don't have to, you, you get me. <laughs> I just I don't want to offend anyone. God forbid we offend anyone on Instagram stories. It's bound to happen, right? <laughs> but um, if you're in that season, Three week intense will meet you. It's where if you're grunting it out with <clears throat> small children, <clears throat> it's all hard. It's intense for a reason. It's all hard, but you'll feel so great afterwards. You'll feel so get great doing it. Just a reminder though, the early bird special for quarter two, three week intense, which starts Monday, April 8th, it will be, it's tomorrow folks. <laughs> It's tomorrow. Christmas 2024 is tomorrow. That's how it feels. <laughs> it's like, where, where'd you show up? Um, we start April 8th for quarter two. Registration is open. There's an early bird special. If you register before one week from today, next Sunday, you get a video from me a $27 value video that can be bought on the website, but you get it complimentary upon checkout in your email with your receipt. So take advantage of registering before next Sunday. Two, three, four, five. Now I'm gonna set this down. I would do 10 of those. I'd take about a 30 second break. I'd do another set. You can tell I was slow and steady because that's how I train. The jerky, the fast, no. That is an injury waiting to happen. How you position your body is so key. One, two, three, four, 
five. You can see I'm going slow and steady. No jerky going on. It's not about speed, folks. This isn't cardio. This is strength training. I would do three sets, or I would do a set of 10, and then I'm going to turn around to the other side. Sorry for the booty shot. <clears throat> One, two, three, four. So I would do 10 on this side with no break in between. I don't need a break because I'm getting a break on this side while I'm doing the other side. Now I may take a break, but I actually could go right back in to this side because I've given the other side a break. Well, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and don't forget that I save each day's message in an Instagram highlight bubble titled that day. I save it there for one week and then I clear it out. So if you want to reference something, you'll have seven days. If it's a powerful message, hopefully I'm sharing it here and you can revisit it whenever you would like. But thanks for watching me. Let me just mention a couple of recent videos that I did that you don't want to miss. Last week I shared my microneedling and PRP treatment that I just had a couple of weeks ago at my medical skin spa. I also shared my closet organization tour video literally take you into my closets and walk you through all of the organization and components. That's been a great video. So many great comments on that. And then some more Instagram stories. I also shared my ring collection with you recently. Check that out and come back on Friday. I'm sharing a fashion video with you. Three different looks that I love popping in some color as you know. And don't forget, Valentine's Day will be here soon, so hopefully something that I shared, one of those looks, may be something that you can incorporate, put your pieces together, or pick up a few new pieces, depending on what your plans are with your honey bunny for Valentine's Day. All right, I'll see you Friday. Fashion video, coming soon.